If you're looking for some cheap Madden Mobile Coins, go check out MaddenMobileCoins.com. Use discount code RAMPAGE for 10% off. Thanks, guys. What's going on, peeps? Oh, that's that's weird. I don't like saying peeps. But anyways, guys, um, it's your boy, Rampage. Hope you're all having a great day. Coming back at you with another Mad Mobile video here, and we're going to go over how to make coins um, with the Team of the Year new promo and, and like all those new things coming out um, earlier today. So to kind of go over things, um, I like making these videos um, in the beginning of each and every single promo because you can definitely make coins. The opportunity is absolutely there to make coins. It's really easy. Um, so we can kind of go over it really quickly, um, just because, I mean, it, it's pretty simple. Um, I, I do this every single time. The most important thing when you're trying to make coins out of a promo is timing. By far, the, the, the timing is super, super important. So what I mean by that is that right now it's 1.36 um, Eastern time. So in California, when I'm making this video, it's like, I don't really know, like 10 o'clock, 10, 10, 10, 36 or whatever. Um, and I'll probably get upload this video around like 2.30 Eastern or 3 o'clock Eastern time, whatever that may be. So the promo came out earlier this morning, like at, I'm guessing like 7 or 8 o'clock. Um, and this is the very first day of the promo here. And whether it be with Team of the Year, whether it be with um, Christmas, uh, Ultimate Freeze, Thanksgiving, New Year's, um, and all the other, um, Easter, whatever um, different like promos along the way come out. Timing is absolutely the most important because this is the very first day is when there's not a lot of players of the, you know these packs here and everything like that that are actually going to be released into the auction house. Um, so there, this is the time, like right now, there will never be a single time where there will be um, less players than there are right now. So <clears throat> because of that, it's literally just all based on supply and demand. So when you go in the auction house, the way you make coins is simply sniping players. Um, because the prices will continually drop every single day, every single hour that this promo is going to like prolongate. So um, when I'm making this video now, the prices will be a little bit, I'm sure it would, I, I'm not going to be too surprised that they'll be a little different when I actually upload this video. So right now, when I'm uploading this video, um, these gold players are going for about 15,000 coins, give or take. They're selling for about 15,000. It's going to take like 20 minutes for them to sell. I'm assuming it'll probably drop down to like 13 or 12,000 later, or even by the end of tonight, probably closer to 10,000, to be honest. They drop really quick. Um, when the promo first came out, I saw them going for like 20K, 25K, 30K. Um, and in a couple hours, it's down to 15,000 coins. So the way that, I mean, for me, I would prefer to probably snipe these players for about 10,000 coins right now. Um, so of course, if you want to factor in, it's, it's all about like how what well, the profit that you want to make out of it. So it's like, for me, if I sell them for 15,000 coins, um, they, you will receive 13 13 and a half thousand coins, 13.5k. So if I sign them for 10,000, you make a 3.5k profit each snipe. Or if you want, you can make a little bit shorter. You can snipe them for 12,000 coins and make a 1.5 thousand coin profit or 12.5k, and you only make 1,000 coin profit. You know, of course. It's all about you know how much how many coins you want to make yourself, say, and it's the profit margin that you want to work with, which is why I really enjoy you know making coins in the beginning of the first couple days or first day of a promo because it's the easiest one, and you get to control how many coins you want to make. To be honest with you, you get to control the level at which you want to snipe these players at, and then I would snipe. Oh my goodness. I would snipe a bunch right now. I don't know when the, the batch drops because the times have been really weird today, but... Um, I, if they come up, I'll definitely snipe a couple for you here for 12.5k. This is by far the best way to make coins, the best coin making method um, in terms of just trying to um, make coins really easily. Just sniping gold players. I think that's the easiest one. A um, couple other ways you can do it is just looking at the sets here. Um, you can make Julio Jones um, and try to sell him for more profit. So as you can see, you only need nine gold, or not gold, nine elite players. So... The way you make coins like this, it's it's a bit of a risk, to be honest with you. Um, so right now, we'll take a look at how much these elite players are even going for, to be honest. Um, probably, I'm assuming, maybe like 150,000 coins, if not maybe a little bit more than that. Um, no. Whoa. Um, how much? 100, 200k? Two, oh, shit. That's a lot of coins. All right, so they're selling for like maybe 300,000 coins. Um, maybe a little bit more. I'm not too sure um, right now. If only my internet would work and cooperate with me, that'd be awesome. Yes, yeah, so they're selling for 250. 
50,000 coins, which is a really, you know, decent amount. So when you take a look when you, when you think about it, right? If you have that many coins, um, you can sure make a lot of coins. I'm not sure a lot of, not too many people have, you know, millions of coins to spend, but they're selling for about 230, 200, 250, 200 to 250,000 coins. So let's just hypothetically say it's for 250,000 coins. 250,000 times nine, that's 1.7, uh, whoa, that's two, yeah, that, that would be 2.2 mil, I'm pretty sure, yeah, so if, if they sell for 250,000, nine of them would be 2.2 mil, pretty much, and we can take a look at how much Julio Jones is actually going for, um, and his price, I'm sure it's maybe a little bit north of 2.2 mil, yeah, exactly, so, um, he's going on the auction house for about, like, 3 mil or 2.9 mil, um, this one just sold for just under 3 million coins, this one's sold for, oh, shit, this one sold for 2.6, 2.8 mil, um, so it's definitely, as you can see, if you have 2.2 mil to spend, you can easily flip him, um, for a couple extra 100,000 coin profit, um, also, if you have him, if you want to build him, great way to do that. Only thing is you can only make him once. So, um, I mean, honestly, I'll be honest with you, I'd probably just sell everything immediately because if you make them right now, you flip them for profit for 2.8 mil, let's say, or 2.6 mil even, you'll make like a 400, 500,000 coin profit from that. And also, in like a week or so, I'm sure this Julio Jones will sell for maybe a 1.5 mil, um, definitely under 2 mil. And you can definitely just eat, buy them the auction house really easily for like maybe 1.5 mil, maybe even closer to 1 million. Or I know um, Dion, Dion Sanders in Ultimate Freeze, he was selling for like 600, 700k by the end of it. So as you can see, it, it gets really easy and, and the prices drop really low. But right now for this first day, um, Julio Jones is going for just under 3 mil, which is really not that bad. You can definitely make coins flipping him as well. Um, <clears throat> So those are a couple options to go with here. Um, I don't suggest you to, I guess, um, I really don't suggest you to snipe elite players. Um, you should just never do that because bots are going to be all about it. And I mean, look, if, if you snipe a nice elite player for 100K, that's awesome. You make 100K profit at least just like that immediately. But the chances of you doing so are really, really low. So I wouldn't really tell you to spend your time doing that. A um, couple other ways. You can play live events, of course. Playing the game is the easiest way to make coins. Um, you play this live event that will come out um, really soon for me. Um, you get a team of the year badge and you maybe can get a player as well and you, you kind of just fluctuate with the sets you play around with the sets um turn three badge into a gold player um turn 20 of those gold players into an elite player you can sell him you can do whatever you want to him you can put him into julio jones um whatever works for you whatever is the the best method for you guys um i would just go with that also if you get players now put them on the auction house, sell him because the prices will continually go down. That's like my golden rule in terms of every single promo. You sell the players immediately, especially for the first couple days, like the first three, four days, sell everything you have because you will always get more opportunities to get these players for a cheaper price. So at the end of the day, why not just wait a couple more days and then you can maybe get the player, maybe you can get Kalu Jones if you want him. You know, waiting a couple days won't kill you. It will just save you coins or make you more coins. So that's it for, for now, this video here. Year. hopefully you guys took something away from it um i i definitely understand how you know the whole market thing works in terms of players and making coins and playing with like the auction house because i've been with mad mobile for a long time now so anyways hopefully you enjoyed the video like this up if you did if you took something away from it let me know in the comments below um if i can improve something absolutely a lot of constructive criticism and i'll be opening up the bundle later today so be on the lookout for that um hopefully you enjoyed the video peace out boys i'll see you guys later